Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I want to discuss the one feature that I would remove from C++. Now, I know that this is going to be a video that will get lots of comments because everyone has lots of things that they would like to remove, but I can say I think there is exactly one feature that is truly dangerous and has no real place in the language at all. I'm going to start with my main function here, and I'm going to declare a local array. And this is my array. It has five values in it. Now, first of all, I'm going to do this pointer and assign it to the array. And this has no problem. This is not going to compile with any warnings at all. And we can probably even turn this all the way up to dash everything in Clang. And we're getting just this uh, C++ 98 compatibility warning, and we're getting an unused variable warning. So this array that we have here really, really easily implicitly converts to a pointer. But it's kind of worse than that. If we were to have two arrays like this that have two, uh, that have the same exact values, and we want to return from here array equals equals array two. Now, you might think that it's going to um, compare the values, but it's not. It's going to compare pointers. And as we get a warning here, warning array comparison always evaluates to false. These two arrays are going to be in two different locations in memory, and it's doing a pointer comparison, and therefore it's always going to be false. It really wants to be a pointer. And the situation continues to get worse, in fact. If we were to create some copy of it, like this, what is the type of copy? We can use our type traits from C++ 17, well, 11 to 17, to figure out what the type of this thing is. Something like this. And that's going to return false. It is not an array. It is a pointer. And if we say is pointer, then we'll get to true here. And continuing on, if we wanted to get an array from a function, then we might do something like this. And we're going to get a compiler warning here. And I'm going to go ahead and comment out a couple of other things. That says address of stack memory associated with local variable returned. So we can't make a copy of it. We can't return it as an array. It really, really wants to be a pointer. And going a step further, if we wanted to have something that uses an array and we do something like, we might be forgiven for thinking that this is expecting an array of five integers, but it's not. It is, in fact, expecting a pointer to a constant, and it doesn't even matter what the size is. We can have an easy mismatch of sizes here, and the compiler knows nothing about this. This array is actually a pointer. The implicit conversion of a C-style array to a pointer has simply no business being in the language. It doesn't accomplish anything useful. We could do an explicit cast to a pointer in the cases where we needed to do that. And all it does is cause unexpected problems and things that don't even necessarily give us meaningful warnings or errors from our compilers. So there you have it. This is the one feature that I would remove from C++ if I had the ability to. And I hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter.